On April 26, 2007, the U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency achieved the eighth successful intercept of a ballistic missile target and the first Aegis BMD event with a simultaneous engagement of an air defense target. An Aegis cruiser, equipped with the Aegis BMD 3.6 weapon system and a full pulse SDAX capable SM-3 was positioned over 400 kilometers off the coast of Kauai. A BQM-74 aerial target was launched from a loitering aircraft towards the ship. The BQM-74 is representative of aircraft and cruise missile threats. Shortly afterwards, an ARAV target was launched. The ARAV, or Aegis Readiness Assessment Vehicle, is representative of a unitary short-range ballistic missile threat. The timing was planned to ensure a simultaneous engagement to stress the ship's weapon system. The Aegis cruiser's crew was not informed of the exact target location or launch time. Based on pre-exercise intelligence, the ship's crew programmed the SPY-1 radar to perform both air defense and ballistic missile sector searches. The ship acquired the ARAV first and began tracking. Shortly afterward, the ship acquired the BQM-74 and began tracking. The weapon system calculated engagement solutions for each specific threat, and the crew readied the missiles for launch. An SM-3 was launched first to engage the ARAV. The missile completed booster burn and separation, followed by second stage rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. During this stage of flight, the Aegis BMD weapon system uplinked guidance commands to the SM-3. Shortly afterwards, an SM-2 was launched to engage the BQM-74 target. The SM-2 acquired the target with its semi-active radar seeker and maneuvered in for a warhead kill. Meanwhile, the SM-3's third stage rocket motor ignited propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. After the first pulse burned out, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone, and pitched back toward the target. Throughout the third stage flyout, the Aegis BMD weapon system provided target complex updates to the SM-3. Roughly 30 seconds prior to the intercept, the kinetic warhead was ejected from the third stage. After separation, the solid divert and attitude control system was initiated. The KW acquired the target in its field of view and began tracking and divert maneuvers. As the target image grew in the field of view, the IR seeker selected the lethal aim point and ignited Pulse 1 per provided guidance commands. Mark India, another direct hit. This test once again demonstrated the system's ability to acquire, track, and intercept a ballistic missile. Numerous ground, sea, and air base platforms observe the intercept. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules. This was the eighth successful and fifth consecutive intercept for SM-3 and the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Flight Test. The mission assurance success of the program has been based on a rigorous engineering and test philosophy. FM-2 and FM-3 validated the ability to intercept a ballistic missile target. FM-4 was the first to demonstrate an ascent phase intercept. FM-6 demonstrated lethal aim point intercept. FM-7 was the first to use an operational SM-3 Block 1 missile. FM-8 was the first test against a separating medium-range target. JCTV-1 was the first to incorporate a Japan-developed clamshell nose cone. FTM-10 was the first to validate the Aegis BMD 3.6 weapon system and SM-3 Block 1A. Flight Test Mission 11 was performed under strict operational testing conditions and validated the capability of the Aegis 3.6 weapon system to simultaneously engage both aerial and ballistic missile threats. It was the first to incorporate a full capability SDAX. The Missile Defense Agency and the U.S. Navy 
are continuing to improve and deploy this Aegis BMD capability with the delivery of additional Aegis BMD cruisers and destroyers and SM-3 Block 1A missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense on target.